Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to a new game, Taxi Life, a city driving simulator. A big thank you to the publisher, Akon and Simterect for sending us a key today to be able to showcase this game to you guys. Uh, so this game is very simple. We're going to be a taxi driver. Uh, we're going to climb into the driver's seat of a car and your own business, transport passengers across Barcelona and grow your company. You can relive the transportation challenges of a city that never sleeps. Okay, so I haven't tried the game myself yet. This is going to be my first look. I've tried to bind some of the settings. We can have a quick little look at them together. If you look at the system settings, you can see what uh, you can have a look at. Uh, you can use different kind of controls, etc. I have mine under steering wheel. And I've managed to bind most of them. Some of the buttons on my steering wheel aren't working. I am using the G920. Uh, I do see that they're not every steering wheel is compatible. But hopefully, anyways, we're going to be okay. We'll give it a go. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoy this, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And maybe tomorrow night we'll do some live streaming of this. Again, let me know in those comments if that's what you want to do. If there's enough interest, that's what we'll do tomorrow night. Okay, so we get to enter our profile name, of course. Who else would we be? Oh, oh man. Oh. It's only a profile name. We'll let it, we'll let it be. I suppose we're going to have to be the blondie, right? Uh, company logo. What do we got here? Well, that's kind of like... I kind of like that one, I suppose. Company colours. Everyone already knows what colour we're going as a taxi company. Actually, I think the black and the green looks alright. I, I can live with that. Company name. Welcome to the vibrant city of Barcelona, where history meets modernity in a symphony of architectural... From the bustling narrow streets of the Gothic Quarter to the breathtaking landmarks the city has to offer, your journey as a taxi driver begins. Feel the sea breeze on your face as you cruise along sun-kissed beaches and embark on an unforgettable adventure. Embrace the spirit of Barcelona and become the most sought-after taxi driver in town. But first, let's get you a taxi driver's license. Hey okay. There. Welcome to our driving school. Uh, before you hit the bustling streets of Barcelona to ferry people around, we gotta teach you how to drive first. So let's get started. Well, we're gonna try we and drive. the option to skip this and head straight to the city by selecting the appropriate option from the pause menu. But hey, just a heads up. Learning the rules now could come in handy later on down the road. Your call. This is the cabin of your car. You can look around and use the buttons that are highlighted. You can open, close windows, and use the radio or AC. In the future, you'll be able to interact with the cabin to your heart's content. Right now, turn on the engine by pressing and holding the start button. Okay, so let's turn on the engine. Very good. The engine is turned on and you see that the dashboard panel is now working. There is lots of interesting information. For example, your speed and fuel level. Red and orange icons inform you that something wrong is happening with your car. However, your car is new and ready to go. So for now, you won't have to worry about that. Release the handbrake by pressing the handbrake button. Okay, for some reason the handbrake button... Now, this is one part of the game that they still need to work on. The steering wheel configuration... Uh, isn't quite right now even in this tutorial part the pedals don't work but in the main game they do work it is mind-boggling at the moment uh, and for some reason some of the keys on the g920 uh, can't be rebinded i've tried now some of them have worked some of them don't work so we're just gonna Very have to manually good. turn these things now off you can drive increase the speed by pressing the acceleration button and drive to the marker in front of you you can brake by pressing the brake button and turn the wheels with the turning buttons Okay, so if we look up, I can put it into gear. Nope, it doesn't even want to go back into gear now. That's fine. So for the tutorial part here, I'm going to have to use the Great keyboard job. keys. Just keep in mind that the game will require you to make numerous precise maneuvers. Your level of control over the car will depend on the type of control device you're using. The control system has been designed to enable you to navigate through narrow streets. Look at how much you can turn the steering wheel. It's worth noting that the steering wheel and the car's wheels turn slowly at the start and then pick up speed as they approach their left or right limit. If you're ready, park the car in the marked space in front of you. Of course, you can change the view by pressing the view button. Okay, so yeah, we can change the view with that. That's fine. That's all good. 
Uh, where do you want me to actually park? Because I didn't see. It's over here somewhere. Okay, like I said, unfortunately I've got to use the keyboard for <laughs> backwards and forwards, but the wheel... Excellent work. So weird. You've got the hang of controlling the car. Just a friendly reminder. When dry... Impressive. You can also use quick look features to make sure that a maneuver you want to make is safe. Test it. Press the quick look buttons. Excellent. You can also look back and lean forward for a better view. Test it. Press the look back and lean buttons. Okay, I don't seem to have a lean forward button. Additionally, in the cabin, you can use some buttons, but all functions available here are also available directly from your steering device or from the radial menu. Press the radial button to open the radial menu. Now you can navigate through it with the tab change buttons. To choose each option, press the action button. To exit the radial menu, press the exit button. Remember that time is slowed down when the radial menu is turned on. Okay, so you can go through the car, whatever we need to awesome. do via that way. Uh, don't forget to keep an eye on the fuel level and remember that the car is susceptible to damage. If any of the five icons that are linked to the car's endurance start to light up, y'all need to repair the car. These parameters are also shown on the HUD as bars. However, there is also one more bar. One parameter, cleanliness. It has an influence on the passenger's behavior and tips. Okay, you know the basics. Now you can try the car. If you feel ready for the exam, please park in the marked space. Okay, so we'll go do this exam so we can play properly, I suppose. Drive along the curved line and park in the marked space. Drive slowly and control your position. Try to be in the middle of the line. Don't cross it. I need driving tests with this easy. Park in the marked space to start the next stage. It'll be like parallel parking, isn't it? Let's practice parallel parking. You need to stop the car in the designated point. Here are the steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move forward slowly. Right. Once you reach the marked space, turn the wheels to the maximum right position and move forward slowly. If okay. you need to make any adjustments, slowly move up. the car backward and reposition the car to the left or right as needed. Okay, so when you do parallel parking, you don't... Um... You don't necessarily do it front ways, that's for sure. But anyways, that's what it wants. What, am I not in enough for it? Oh no, massively out. Very good. There we go. Park in the marked space to start the next stage. So yeah, it's so weird not using a wheel and using a keyboard to go. Whoa, whoa. Alright, we're gonna pass our exam. Don't don't panic. Let's practice perpendicular reverse parking. You need to stop the car in the designated point. Here are the steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move backwards slowly. Once the car is nearly in a parallel position to the marked space. Straighten the wheels and continue moving the car backward. Ensure that you remain within the marked space. If you need to make any adjustments, slowly drive forward and reposition the car to the left or the right as needed. Be fair, that's kind of cheating then, but, you know. Very nice. There we go. Park in the marked space to start the next stage. Let's practice making a U-turn in three moves. Follow these steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move forward slowly. Such a Remember bad way to, to drive. Before the car leaves the marked space. 
Turn the wheels to the maximum right position and move backwards slowly. Again, stop the car before it leaves the marked space. Once more, turn the wheels to the left and move forward slowly. Adjust the position of the car to drive straight and exit the marked space. Finally, park the car within the next marked space. If you do this in real life, drive rubbing the tires like that, you'll fail your test. But it's okay for a, Very a good. game. You passed the first part of the exam. You are ready to take a test drive through Barcelona. Before you hit the city streets, it's important to remember that you must abide by all traffic rules and regulations. By driving in a calm manner, using turn signals and following traffic signs, you'll be rewarded with XP points. However, if you break any traffic rules and get caught by a police patrol, you'll receive a ticket. Please remember that the standard speed limit in the city is 50 kilometers an hour. This is the final part of your exam. You'll need to drive your own car in a real city to complete the test. Good luck. To successfully pass this exam, you must pick up a client and safely deliver them to their intended destination. Are you ready to begin? Let's go. Okay, so we are ready. Open the map by pressing the map button. We are here and you can see all the available jobs. Great job. We need to pick up this In one. In the pop-up window which appeared, you can see the job details, including the amount of money you'll receive and the XP reward. Excellent. You've taken your first job. Keep an eye on the orange bar located above the pop-up information window. This is the patience bar, and it will gradually decrease over time. Okay, she's got loads of patience. decreases will depend on your passenger's temperament and, most importantly, your driving style. Avoid breaking traffic rules, as this may scare the client. Remember, the client won't wait forever. And note that the final destination will not be immediately available. It will only be revealed once the client is in the car. Okay, now you must drive to pick up the client. Exit the map by pressing the exit button. Follow the GPS route you can see on the mini map to the marked point and park in the marked space. Okay, so we turned on the car. Oh, see now the pedals work. It's so weird that that tutorial car, the pedals don't work. These ones, they do work. Okay. Acceleration is uh, quite rapid. It's okay. Is this a Tesla? Is that what this is? All right. I like that the sat nav is quite big. Engine sounds, obviously it's an electric car. Not not amazing by any point. I can't really hear very much. Hopefully there's a lot of other different cars available. Whoa. But remember, we're on a drive and test it. Whoa, what are you braking for? We got right away, no? Okay, so we're at our first uh, pickup point. So yeah, the handbrake button's now working correctly. The key buttons seem to be working correctly. Hello. Now you know where to go. 
Drive to the destination point and remember to control the patient's bar. Occasionally, a client may initiate a conversation, and depending on the circumstances, you may choose to engage or disregard them. Keep in mind that participating in the conversation could potentially boost your tips, XP points, and even improve your current patience level. Okay, so now that uh, we're in the car, let's get out of it. We'll take our lady friend to wherever she wants to go. Only a short trip, so it's not so bad. So there are some features of this game that I really like the idea of, you know, the fuel, the uh, the cleanliness, all that kind of stuff. If we have to talk to customers, I'm in the wrong lane. Proper taxi driver I am. You know how they all drive when you go on holiday, they're absolutely nutters. I mean, I've never been picked up in a Tesla before. Whoa. So yeah, the sensitivity, we can't control of the pedals. And that is something that I think hopefully we will get eventually because they're a bit a bit jumpy. Anyone trying to play this on keyboard and mouse, good luck to you, because even just doing that tutorial bit there was pretty damn hard. Bye. Very good. You have completed your first job and passed the exam. Congratulations. As you can see, you've earned your first money and XP points. The money can be used to refuel and clean your car, or even buy a new one. You can use XP points to develop your character. Now let's spend some money. See the gas station? Go there and refuel the car. Okay, so the only thing I don't like is like you see the car moving there. If you want to adjust the sensitivity controls, check the game settings. Oh, okay, so was the game listening to me? Um, I didn't see any sensitivity for the pedals. Maybe I need to have another look. Maybe there was. Maybe I was wrong with what I just said. I'm sure people will start shouting at me. All right, we're an electric car, so we don't really need fuel, but, you know, we're buying fuel, apparently. But the thing that I don't like is when we stop, we put a handbrake, you won't even let you put the handbrake on before the customer gets out, and then once you get back into the screen, the car's rolling. I didn't like that. Okay, let's have a look what this gas station wants then. You have two options for fueling, partial and to the max. Choose one of them and then exit. Well, you know, we might as well just fill it up. I mean... Oh, so we can just hold down the refuel? Okay, I get ya. 7 euros 48 a litre. Jesus. It must be an island. That can't be realistic to Barcelona. See, the car's rolling again, but the handbrake was already on. Did you? So, yeah. Little, little things, but a little annoying, but, you know. Very good. You can use the charger for electric cars and car wash in a similar way. Okay, so apparently this is a diesel then. Alright, we need to go visit the garage. Where the hell's the garage? Okay, there are numerous icons to play here. You browse through them by utilizing. Okay, that's fine. Experience points, money. That's fine. You can go to any point GPS creates some route to it. You can also change the tab to move to other sections. You can find more information in the game helps tab. Now find the icon. Okay, and that's fine. That's what we're going to do. Oh, our garage is right here. Nice. Not too far away. Okay, sorry there's a little cut there. So basically, I had an issue with the pedals where they just stopped working. I'm not sure what happened. Um, I seem to be falling into a few of these little bugs and stuff. 
Um, they're a little bit frustrating, but anyways, we're on our way to the garage, so that's what we're gonna do. Like, it's only day one, I'm sure there's gonna be more patches and stuff. You know, I, I'm gonna hold my breath and say, look, we can't always, you know, crap on every game. They need to, they need to have a little bit of time. Now, the only thing is, obviously, this is not early access. Uh, so, you know, you kind of want it in a good state with wheels and stuff. I mean, it is a driving simulator. Another game that I feel like had these teething issues was the Alaskan Truck Simulator. I found, um, I find them both very similar in that sense of the, the steering's not quite 100%. Now, Alaskan Road Trucker, six months in, seven months in now, or whatever they are now, they've uh, they pulled out. There's another big update for that today as well. And, you know, they're addressing it. I'm sure these people will keep continuing working on this as well. Graphically, I'm not sure is it as nice as I was hoping. I only have it set to high because I did see earlier on in the day that people were saying they were having FPS issues. Maybe I can go to Ultra. I should be able to with my system. But I just kind of wanted to make a first kind of video and a first look for you guys. And like I said, I'm very happy to live stream this tomorrow night if you guys are willing to watch. And uh, we can take a bit of a deeper dive and we can all have a good chat together about it. But again, as always, I'll leave that to you guys. What you decide in the comments down below get plenty of comments and plenty of likes we'll definitely do a live stream the interest is not there i'll just stick with the videos and we'll just have to continue to see how this goes but it is early look we, we have not even completed the full driving test yet stop hesitating come on now i must admit i've been to barcelona i've never driven in barcelona i've driven in uh in other parts of spain never in barcelona but uh I used to drive buses around uh, Paris along the Champs Elysees and stuff. You know, you can drive a triaxle, huge vehicle around the Champs Elysees. You can drive anywhere in the world. That's how I like to think. Okay, so this is our garage. Okay, that person's decided not. You won't go that way. Oh, so we don't even drive in. We just press A. Okay. Okay, so welcome to the garage. This is where you can service your vehicle, purchase, sell cars or components, personalize and enhance your ride. Nice. Here you can repair the whole car. Keep in mind that you can also fix individual parts as needed. Just remember those repairs can only be formed in the garage. Uh, you can also fuel, charge and clean it here. Okay, so there's a lot we can do. Um... Right, apparently uh, the gearbox has uh, a little bit of wear. We'll just uh, we'll make the car spick and spam, right? Oh, and that's the cleaning. Oh, really? Oh, I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I was hoping there might be something a little bit different. Okay, uh, so we've got cars. So we are able to buy new cars eventually. Um, at the moment, no. That's 6500 for that ugly thing. I'd rather drive this. Um... 45 litres though, that's not a lot. How the hell is that faster than this? Who knows? That, that looks like a Prius, doesn't it? That looks like one of those family wagon things. Okay, so we've got some cars. There's some nice cars. Obviously, I'm assuming new DLCs in the future will be map extensions, splash cars, and all the rest of the things. Okay, parts. Uh, okay, in the parts panel, you can buy and install new parts for the car. I like that. So we could put better brakes in. All that kind of stuff. Okay, that's good. That's that's a nice little little thing there. We can put different tires on. Tires improve traction, especially on wet surfaces. We have to get to level three. I mean, we're nowhere near unlocking half of this stuff yet. But they're different. Oh, oh yeah, so we can go to manual if we want. Now I do have a gear shifter, so maybe we will. Uh, so that's an option. That's good to know. Okay, we've got customization then of inside. What can we change? Upholstery. Oh damn. Why can't we have green? Where's the green? Why is there no green developers? Alright, we definitely need to have some of these. Uh, oh, I've, not unlocked, I've, only un I've only got these ones unlocked at the moment. Um, there you go. We'll put the black dog in there then. I thought I'd be able to paint the outside of the car. Okay, so we can rest as well. That's fine. Can we not paint? Oh yeah, we can. Okay, so yeah, uh, so the main color of the car, yes, yes. Fifty dollars though, worth it.
Where's the LED? Oh, for underneath. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm just adding the most pointless stuff to the car, apparently. Uh, yeah, I think the normal taxi one's okay. Not too worried about them at the moment. Uh, I don't think we need it. Actually, you know what? The, uh, for $100, it does actually look nicer. All right, we're just going to keep with what we got. That's fine. So we've customized. Okay, we can have a look at the driver then. Driver progression. You're in the progression panel. You can see the perks unlocked that you can do to have to spend skill points. You get one point every time you are promoted to the next level. So do I have one point to use? We do. So we've got drive and discover monuments and points of interest gives you more experience. Uh, okay, that's not a bad one. Using a car stations, cleaning, charging takes less time. Not too worried about that at the moment. Using the car stations is cheaper. Yeah, that's not a bad one to have either. Uh, one ticket per day is cancelled except for the ticket hitting a pedestrian. <laughs> God. Drivers cost less money in your company. Well, at the moment, it's only going to be us. So I actually think between driving and price of fuel. Let's take price of fuel as our first one. I think that's a good one to go for. You can see our statistics here. That's fine. All right. So I think we're good to just get out of here, really. Um, doesn't really say how. Just must be backwards. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's pick up one more passenger for the day. Like I said, we'll keep this one kind of short. Okay, I cancel my waypoints, please. Let's go pick up this person. It's easy. All right, Alina Grant. Your chariot is coming. Okay, car's on. All right, let's get out of here before those cars come. Taxi has arrived. See, look. It didn't even give me a chance to put on the handbrake. Okay, one thing the tutorial didn't go through is if she talks to me, what am I supposed to do? I'll click on her. All right, let's see what she wants to do. There's something big on the window. Use wipers. Uh, okay, where are you from? I don't know what key the wipers are. Good point, love. Does that make you feel better? Crazy lady. How do I stop using them? There you go. Right, let's go back to actually doing some work. Whoa, boy, he's let me out. So the buttons I want to use on my um, wheel to look around don't work. So you're kind of doing a bit of a mix. But we'll get used to it. Wow, what's the hold up here, guys? Come on. I've got to go two kilometers. I feel like someone just rammed into the back of me. Someone did something they're not supposed to do. Come on, pull yourself together. This is what driving in Paris is like. Also Galway City, where I'm from. So 
So, love, I bet you've never been in a green taxi like this one. One of a kind here. Oh, gotta go all the way back around on my bloody self. I hope he's bringing me the right way because, uh... This is how real people drive. Cutting each other up, getting in front of each other, especially taxis. Taxis are some of the worst people. Being a bus driver, obviously I've encountered many a taxi, especially like driving around the streets of London. Taxis just dropping off people anywhere, parking in your bus stops, ah, oh, you name it. Taxi drivers are by far by some of the worst professional drivers out of all of us, I think. I've got no issues with them, but they just don't care about anything. I must admit, the AI aren't too bad in this out of the box. Okay, I said the AI wasn't so bad, and what does it do? Cuts me up. I don't feel like I'm getting any closer to our objective because it's taking me to the right, but I don't know these streets, so... There's a lot of one-way stuff going on here. We're just taking it a long way around. You know, extra money and all that. Whoa! Don't stop for nobody. Right, I'm assuming we're going to be going all the way around the roundabout. Nope, straight over. Okay, so we picked up a landmark of some sort. I can see the AI just crashing into each other there. I mean, these things happen, you know, especially uh, in Europe. I find that some of the cities start driving. Most people don't have nice cars in Europe because they just smash into each other, especially the kind of French. The Spanish can be pretty bad, too. Uh, oh, my God. They're just uh, crashing out of nowhere. Crazy fools. So yeah, I think the biggest thing with this kind of driving is uh, a lot of one-way stuff. A lot of start-stop, obviously, with uh, lights. Definitely a style of driving. 
This is why when people talk about bus driving, there's normally two types of bus drivers. The ones that like the city stuff that basically you don't move, you stop every 10 seconds, ding, 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 ding. Now I'm more of a cross country, long distance driver. I do and have done city work, but you know, my main stuff is long distance for that reason. I, I just rather put my foot down, cruise control on the bus and just forget about everything, literally. <laughs> All right, how the hell does this junction work? Nope, can't go across it. You have to go around it. I have no idea if that was red or green. Go, 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 go. Whoa, so the steering wheel just went weird. No idea what just happened there. Jesus. Do I want to be going down here? I love the way that her patience is running out. Oh, like I'm, I'm getting you there. What do you want me to do, love? Should have walked. Please let me put the handbrake on. I Thanks. Think... Have a nice day. Okay, so got a bit more there. Yeah, they're not too bad with us. Patience, Mark. It is what it is. We got uh, 401 euros with a tip. $40. No, 40 euros. Yep, can't complain of that, right? Okay, so look, we will... Uh, we will venture outside. <laughs> the freaking underglow is so... So in your face, right? Uh, so look, I'm going to leave it there for this very first episode. It's just a bit of an introduction of the game. Like I said, I'm going to leave this in your guys' hands as always. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like bell. And other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.